it's now time for me to start seeing if I can actually, at the age of 68, improve my rather poor organ playing. But first, I'd like to share with you how I got to this point. I'm mainly self-taught, although I have had some lessons. But let me take you back about 55 years to a little town in Suffolk, Saxmundham. Here I am as a 10 year old boy, the year I started the piano. And this is my piano primer, James Ching. I don't know if anyone else has followed that one. Very simple thing. And just to check whether the piano teacher was good enough, I thought I would just play Lavender's Blue from the first piano primer I ever had. And Mr. Pohl, my teacher, has actually written in here October the 9th, 1964. Learn and practice to end of page seven. So I'm sure I must have done this. Let's have a go at Lavender's Bloom. I didn't get on very well with those lessons. I did take an exam. I'm afraid my memory is a bit ha hazy. I think in those days there were actually three steps before you actually got to grade one. I took step three and then I started learning the grade one pieces but never ever took that exam and gave up the piano at that stage. I have here, I don't know if you can read that, my grade one pieces I did learn on the pi piano. Not very well, I must say. Now, at St John the Baptist Church, Saxmondham, when I was probably 15, I had my first organ lesson with the organist at the church, Dennis Nichols. Not knowing exactly what to do, he suggested I bring along a piece of music I could play. So obviously, I brought along my grade one piece. And so the first piece I ever played on the organ was Gavotte by Francois Couperin. So I have now decided to try it again.
Although it can play the whole lot, now that I've put it on the organ, I need to change manuals from great to swell. I need to use the swell pedal. All these extra things is affecting my poor brain. One of my biggest problems playing the organ is my brain. I don't think I've really learned how to concentrate. If anyone have any tips of practicing concentration, then do put them in the comments below. My mind seems to wander all over the place, jumping from one thing to the next. And which isn't a good thing when you're suddenly playing. You know, if you're playing away and I think, oh, where have I got to jump onto the swell? Oh, 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 you know, this is a tricky bit I've had before. Will I get over it? Yes, I've got over it. Oh, no, I've got the next bit wrong. Oh, uh, I just panic. So I've got to learn to stay calm and to concentrate and play the right notes.